So it is Sunday morning and I'm not quite done with my hair. Yeah, Sunday morning and I'm not quite finished with my hair. But um I really want to go to church, so I thought I would have been done by now, but we're just gonna have to put this in a scarf or a ponytail or something. So here's an update. I should be leaving the house now. Poshmark sided with me. So Poshmark sided with both of us. They said that for me to go ahead and keep the shoes, consider them a gift. And they sided with her by releasing the funds to her. So she got the money and I got some shoes that I can't fit. They was like, go ahead and keep the shoes. Don't worry about sending them back. And they said, um, yeah, this is crazy. Ooh. So I just wanted to have a video of me trying them on so I can see what they look like. Because if I run across these in my size, if I think they're cute in this video, then I'll get them in my size. But yeah, these are size 11, honey. I, oh Jesus. I wouldn't be able to wear them things anywhere. And I wouldn't feel right reselling them on Poshmark. So I would just give somebody these because they are cute. But anyway, so it is nine. What time is it? It's kind of too cold to have my feet out, but it's not like it's actually, um, I know, I'm going to put some lotion on. Calm down. It's not like it's actually um, wintertime just yet. Oh, yeah, these are these will be worn today. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. So I miss Sunday school, but I will be there. After a while, these nozzles get worn, and they don't want to, it don't want to come out. Anyway, but I will be there on time for Sunday, for Sunday morning worship. Um, my hair is still not finished, but it's at a good stopping point because you can't really see nothing. You see in the back, you can't, that bottle of lotion is so old y'all. But it smells so good. This is that Victoria's Secret. So I was going to go to my grandmother's church today because I haven't seen her. And I want to do like a, I want to see her. Is that okay? I just want to see her. Um, but then I didn't go to church last week. And I noticed that God blesses me when I go. Obviously. I go and I, I give my offering. I'm starting to feel convicted about my uh, content, y'all. For those who are new to my channel, I'm in a, I want to say a backslidden state, season, lifestyle. And I'm trying to, you know, you can't do nothing without the Holy Ghost. But I'm trying to be more, better submitted to the Holy Spirit. Ooh, these feel good, honey. Trying to be better submitted to the Holy Spirit. I'm breathing heavy. Y'all, these shoes are cute. So I'm trying to be better submitted to the Holy Spirit and obedient to the word. And so I had a video that I keep, and it's nothing, it's nothing too bad in it. But I just feel like my content needs to change. I feel that strongly. My content needs to change. So, I'm going to take heed. Maybe it's not my content. Maybe it's me. All right, so this is what we're, what we're looking like today. And I'm carrying my... I wish this strap was a little longer, but whatever. I didn't go last week, so I'm going to double up on... You know, some people, they debate whether tithing is biblical or whatnot. 
Honey, if you have a relationship with the Lord, I know, you know, you can, sometimes I would hit or miss or whatever, but there was a season where I was faithful, honey. I had that check coming to my house, coming to, coming to my house every month, every month. I'm stuttering. God was faithful to me and I was faithful to him. And now it's like, once you don't have that, that, that manna coming down every month. Anyway. So I like it. Let me turn around so y'all can see the full fit. Now, I hope this is covering up the uh, fact that my hair is not complete. But if not, that's okay, too. Y'all know how we do. We roll with it over here. All right. A cover-up, because it, it might be chilly out. So this one is super long. I haven't worn it since last whatever, so I want to shake it out make sure ain't no spider in it. I think about stuff like that. If it's been in the closet all that time. There we go. You got to think about that. You don't want to be out here cold. I'm going to grab a handful of these. I grabbed a handful yesterday. Y'all know these little hard candies. And um, I ate a handful. Now, I don't know if y'all can see this, but to God be the glory. I don't know a thousand people that want to listen to me talk in real life. I don't know 10 people <laughs> that want to listen to me talk in real life. But for some reason, God has sent an audience. And so if since the Lord wants me to change my content, I'm feeling convicted about it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. When, when you have people telling you that what you've said helped them, how can you go back to saying stuff that's not helpful? You know what? I realize <laughs> I said that and then I'm about to say this. I realized in one of my videos that I don't put on lip gloss nearly enough. My lips just be dry and not dry like dry and cracked, but just my lips be ashy. Y'all didn't tell me. Y'all ain't said nothing. So this is a prayer book by Kimberly Daniels. Prayers that bring change. So my prayer life needs to get better. I pray when I'm in a, when, in a bind. I pray when I'm driving. I pray, you know, if I'm about to eat something from somebody that I don't know. Um, pray when the police get behind me. But I don't have a consistent daily prayer life. I read the word consistently, but I don't pray consistently. But this is something that I read in addition to the word of God um, daily. So I don't know if this constitutes as prayer, but there's every day, there's a different, I read like eight of them. There's eight of them that I read repetitiously and this helps. And so I've been reading it so long, as you can see. I've had this for about a year now. Matter of fact, I always write the date. I usually write the date in here. 4 6 20, 21. 4 6 21. So that's how long I've had this book. Um, but I would like to get to the point where I am praying like grandmama now. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be transparent and share everything with you guys because, um, and also just document my journey of getting back in position of God grafting me back in. Um, yeah, this book, I have I have several books on prayer and deliverance and stuff like that. But this is the one that God used to really bring a change in my life. So hopefully that helps somebody. Come on, y'all, let's go. I popped a bump, a pimple. Anyway, there's no cute way to say that. <sighs> Child. I can't wait to do my makeup. You know, when you first get braids, I should put my seatbelt on. 
I'm breaking all kind of laws. The sergeant's wife is breaking laws. Um, so, I'll be so glad when he retires. I worry about him constantly. Anyway. Oh, I thought it was some stuff on the side of the road that said free, honey. I got that poverty mindset. You know what I mean? It said for sale. It was a big old barbecue pit. I can talk them down. Anyway, so let's talk about the, mo the monetization or whatever. Um, so I was eligible for it back in September. Didn't, wasn't paying attention or was it July? I have all the, the screenshots and everything. So it was like I was a month behind on even checking my checking my email or whatever that is. And so when I seen it, I was like, oh, okay. So I made my hours of watch time before I made my subscription, the amount of subscribers. But they allowed me to hit the monetization button um, at 950 subscribers. So... Um, um, I was excited. I made a video about it. I made videos about as the, the number was going up. Um, I was looking real bad, John. I mean, not that that matters. I got to come away from that. But like I, I was up three o'clock in the morning. Like if this, if this is how I felt at this time, seeing this number, I wanted to capture the raw emotion. I wanted to capture the raw emotion. This car is getting kind of close. You know, it's all black, black on black everything, so it's intimidating. Y'all heard it? It just whisked past me. Honey, this is a Ford Fusion. I wish it could go fast, but it can't. Anyway, so, um, what was I talking about? So, yeah, so I'm super, ex not super excited about it. I was super excited about it, but once you realize that you've got your toe, you got your toe, that's what it feels like now, after everything has has calmed down and settled and it's been about two months of me being monetized now. Um, I, I don't want to say the thrill is gone because you're actually, now you have access to, you have access. It's like you access is granted type situation. But um, now it's still up to you. Are you going to be consistent with the content? Are you going to... Uh, fall into the enemy's trap of wanting to do clickbait titles? Are you going to, you know, start doing more crazy stuff for a crazy thumbnail? You know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of like when you start, if, if when somebody, when you start watching P, adult movies, and it's like, whatever you start off watching, if you start off watching people kiss, and then the enemy, the enemy will, pr I hate it when people drive neck to neck. <laughs> I'm like, are you trying to get my attention? Is my tire flat? Are you pointing out the rust spot on my car? Anyway, so it's like when you, when you start, this is for, this is for everybody. People of all ages need to be aware of this. Whatever you start off watching, you watching people kiss, then you watching people tongue kiss, then you watching people, you know what I'm saying, progressively, the scene gets hotter and hotter, honey, spicier and spicier. And it's like, what turns you on, it, it, you, you see what I'm saying? It, it's sin snowballs. Not to say sex is sin, but how the enemy perverts it is snowballs. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but I'm gonna continue on. I've learned something trust God when he is moving you in a certain direction and so and so just like with um and now he's taking me off of it and so just like with now that I'm being that that I'm monetized it it it's like okay you got to top your last video you got to make it even more interesting even more appealing even more you know what I'm saying tantalizing and what you're feeding into if you don't be careful, you could be feeding into the flesh. You could be feeding into the, the pride of life. The, what do you say? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. And it's like, before you know it, before you know it, 
you've created a monster. The algorithm has created a monster. So you gotta make sure that you are disciplined, that you are walking circumspectantly. Um, you gotta make sure that you are led of the spirit. I can't just drop a video because I'm, I wanna drop a video because my flesh wants to drop. You gotta be led of the spirit in all things. Now you also, listen, for somebody in ministry, don't and, and, and the enemy's telling you to wait. You have to also know be 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 uh, ready in season and out of season. So you got to have you got to be ready to encourage that whatever your gift is. You got to be ready to operate in it at any time. Because God is not the gifts and the callings of God are are, are without repentance. You see, what I'm saying they're always in op they're always able to be in operation. Um, you may have to go pray and fast before you use it, you know what I'm saying, or, or repent and get yourself together before you operate in it, but they're always ready. That's your gift. If you can sing, you should be able to sing at, in the grocery store. If you can encourage somebody, you should be able to encourage a stranger on the bus. Why am I going this way? So you have to be careful. This is what God is showing me with this monetization thing. You can fall into a trap or you can use it, you can allow it to be the avenue in which, I done forgot what church I was going to, y'all. Don't, I was gonna say, don't be a church hopper, but as long as you going, as long as you going. Um, I'm going to my church this morning. Anyway, so, um, is that? I don't know that. So, um, is that my husband? I know that I know he's not about to pull me over. Lord have mercy. If my husband pulls me over, y'all, I'm gonna get it on camera too. I'm gonna get it on camera. Yep, that's him. I think. I don't even know his car. I would hate to pull over and then it not be him. Let me pull over. Oh, shit. If that's not him, y'all, we in trouble. Because I wasn't for sure if that was you. Of course it is. You scared me. Why scare you? I'm vlogging. And I thought... Oh, okay. You having a good morning? Yeah. Oh, okay, babe. I'm blocking traffic. Love you. All right, so that was weird. He's pulled me over once before. I was um I was trying to be a trying to be a manager. Well, not trying to be a manager. They consistently asked me to be a manager at the, the job I was at for 10 years, Arby's. And um, I kept telling them no. I have three small children. My goal, the reason why I'm staying here for 10 years is to make sure that they, you know, do good in, in high school, middle school and high school and go on to college. I know you're like, how, how is she? Why would I jump from Taco Bell to McDonald's to Burger King to Church's Chicken? You see what I'm saying? Just stay put, have the seniority, know the job inside and out. And God will use you. He'll bless you, honey. I've had managers ask me questions and managers leave me with the safe open and managers trust me. And you see what I'm saying? God gave me favor. I felt like Joseph in the pit, but I was still, you know, anyway. So don't get, get caught in the trap of the algorithm. Honey, you better make sure that the wind that's blowing you in that in, in, in whatever direction is the wind of God. Because you can become, a, just like you can become a, a, a servant or a slave to sin, you can become an, you too can become an idol and you can begin to worship it. And every time you feel the unction or whatever, then you're bowing down and you're worship. Y'all better, y'all better hear me. Y'all better hear me. Y'all got to make sure that God is the one that's ordering your steps. You got to make sure that what you're saying, as you're growing, you're growing your channel, you have to make sure that everything you're saying is in line with what God wants you to say because you're going to be held accountable for every idle word. You're going to be held accountable um, 
for the people, the way that the people, not the way that they receive it, but the perception, the, because the perception can sometimes be like a suggestion. You know what I mean? And it's like, if I'm, if I'm not, if you're a child of God, there should be fruits that you're a child of God. That's what I'm saying. They should be able to look at your fruits, the unseen or what you're not saying, okay? And it should be in line with the word as well. You should be able to govern yourselves accordingly. Anyway, so I'm not, I'm determined not to get caught up in the whole whirlwind tornado of jumping on this, uh, this hamster wheel trying to get a coin. I am grateful that God has allowed me to see this point of monetization. It's been a long time coming. Like I said, I've had multiple YouTube, you know, some people, they had the same YouTube channel and you've seen them, you could scroll down and they, they was 25 when they started it. And now they, you know, however old this one lady, she was showing her hair journey and she was an older woman, older black woman. And so I was like, she was just comfortable talking to the people. I'm like, let me see how long she's been doing this. And I had to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Honey, she was, she wasn't great when she started. She was a lot thinner. You know what I'm saying? The point that I'm saying, the reason why I'm saying this is because, um, my husband's stalking me, y'all. I just, that just registered. He said he saw me on camera when I left the house and he, he knew I was going, sometimes he makes jokes. He's like, what church did you go to today? What, what church did you? And I'm like, 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 I'm just, I'm like, if I told you I was going to such and such church, then that's where I'm at. I'm at such and such church. But he'll be like, how long did you stay? Anyway, I'm starting to get nervous, y'all. Starting to get nervous. I don't know why. It's like I always get gassy and airy and. Maybe because I'm full of crap. Come on, y'all. Let's work together, people. I, I need to go that way. Yeah. If you pay attention. It's not hard. Just pay a little attention. Anyway, so um, I'm trying not to get... What's the word for it? I'm trying to... Because the Bible says, let no evil communications... No, let no corrupt communications proceed out of your mouth. Okay. And so that last video that I uploaded, I don't know, um, where I said the thing about getting snatched up by somebody that looked like Will Smith. And it's like, it's funny to me. I know I'm joking. My husband jokes around about Tony Braxton. That's and Angela Bassett. Those are his, and Janet Jackson. Those are his women crush or whatever, celebrity crushes. And, um, let me go on in here. Let me go in here. I'm doing it. I'm getting suckered into the algorithm. Jesus better be the center of your everything, y'all. Because if he's not, you can have, you can, what do it at profit the man to gain the world? I'm going to cut this part out. I'm so sorry, but I do that in real life at, the, at just out in public. Anyway, what do it it profit a man to gain the world and to lose his soul? Y'all see how that ear just came on out of there like that? Sticking out. <sighs> Put some gum in my mouth. I don't want to be one of them ones. Talking about how, how you doing and hallelujah. And all they getting a whiff of is happy Halloween. How you doing? See, that's what I'm talking about. But I also know that God will use, he'll use the, your, your personality to attract other people that are like you. But then there's some people that are easily offended and, 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 and you know what I mean? But I've got to be me. I've got to be me. If I get here, <laughs> I'm here. But if I go in at a decent time, I can sing with the choir. But if I don't, that means I have to um, get somewhere and sit down. Which I probably need to get somewhere and sit down. Being, keeping it a buck. 
a buck fifty. <laughs> All right, let me make it this way. If he never does another thing, I got two witnesses. He's already done enough and is deserving of my worship. God, it looks horrible, but I love you anyway. You put me in jail, but Lord, I'll serve you right here. Y'all ain't talking to me here. My family going crazy, but you still God. Mama died and left the scene, but he's still God. He says, I'm the same Top Johnson yesterday, today, and forevermore. So I don't care what's going down around you. You better make sure you keep sending your worship up. Okay, so I have not been to this Goodwill in quite some time. This is uh, the one off of Southwest Traffic Way. I think. No, that's not it. So, my seamstresses and tailors, hold on to your presser foots and your seam rippers. Do y'all see what I'm witnessing? And at the price, the decent price of, what is that, $12? I can barely see that. But, um, yeah, this is an antique sewing machine, okay, at the Goodwill. And not one, but two. So, I'm going to continue part two of this Goodwill trip. We're looking for sewing tables without the sewing machine. Um, cause I don't know if that works or not. And we're looking for nice size, good pots and pans so I can cook my Thanksgiving dinner. Thanks for watching.